Uh, so thank you very much for your time. Good questions. I'm part of the team. My name is Steve Cranston. I'm part of the team led by Gareth Kelly, uh, Ollie Leonard on the video. Hello. Ruth who checked you in you came into the building. And we're here to help with the Kelly, this is the Henry Club Partnership to develop an action plan for the first first funding. So it's a pretty important piece of work because it's an opportunity to, I guess, reflect on what's happened in the past, so what the first have done, but it's going to also review and think about where we go in the future. So, what's happened is, um, over the past, I would say, three, three months, the team has been going out taking soundings from people who've been talking to us first. We've built up a picture about what we think the priorities are in the area. So, why do they matter to You, in all your various ways, are providing crucial services within the Kelly and Mrs. Kelly Tyler. We want to take the chance to share with you the findings that we've had so far into what's important and what needs to be done. And really, to get your reaction to that. Because um, our sense is that some of you will know quite a bit about Communities First, in which case, apologies, this is a teaching for some case. I guess others may not know as much, and I think we want to look at ways in which organisations that do their day in, day out business in Perth Kelly, Biscuit, and Penrith can be more closely aligned. Talk about yourselves for two or three minutes. Is there anything that you want clarified from what Gareth has said? Not that you want to say it. <coughs> Sit around the table, but there's a wealth of knowledge and experience in one another, but in different areas. So we've all got our own agenda. Right. So what we can either say that is really what we perhaps ultimately need by the end of the day is some form of directory where we can tap into the different services. Yep. Right. Um, yep. 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 Great, thank you very much. When we drew this invitation list up to get you all here, it was amazing that well, this wasn't available. We spent hours pulling names together, which you might think is a very simple job. Okay. Yeah, we had a question. We're, we're all stakeholders on this table, um, and we would have liked there to be more people from Truth, Kalibiskin, and Penakaiba here, right. so that we could speak to them to see you really. Sure, what they really want to do. Okay. Um, you write things, it's come up very, very strongly in our consultations so far. One of the things that happened with regards to this area was that there was, a, there was an extensive uh, consultation done. This is the Penrith Community Audit, and there was one done for Miskin and for Kelly back in 2003. A lot of consultations done there. But it is evident in our discussions with people so far that. that there is a feeling that we haven't really got to grips with what people on the ground really want and need. And it's, it's been recognised. I think the answer that we're proposing so far, unless anything else comes out today, is that it's one of the action points. It needs to be embedded within the activities of the community for the staff team and the partnership board members to, to take it through in the programmes, in, in their everyday activities. But what you are is you are you are key, you are all people here. You are key. We call service providing organisations. People who are in touch, doing stuff with lots and lots of people on the ground. And through, and through you, we think we can work to so, so help make that happen. Okay. We now want to break into into groups. And Gareth has suggested that we do this on the basis of um, people sort of. It's not perfect. So if you don't want to do this, don't. But we would suggest that you perhaps think about grouping um, amongst, you, yeah, you become, amongst people of your own kind. So, for example,
Community First isn't a standalone kind of project that just sort of does Community First stuff. It can only work if it's working with the mainstream, you know, health, education, you know, police, crime, and so etc. Um, agencies, whether in the statutory or the sector. So uh, it's, really, it's really good. Yeah. Just to say thanks for giving me time. Thank you very much. Yeah.